Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angela Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is thursday april 7th 2022 now it's time to take a brain break welcome to our brain break in the seal technique today we will be breathing with the flower and a burning candle So, relax with us next time for our next brain break in SEL technique. That was just what I needed. Now, let's go to word of the day. Hey Alex, how do you think you did yesterday on your FSA test? Oh hey Randy, I think I did well. I was a little drowsy during the FSA. I know you'd be tired. You spent your time all night watching Coco Melon. Yeah, now I know to take it more seriously and go to sleep early. Yeah, if you go to bed earlier, you wouldn't be so tired or drowsy. Well, I will know for the next test. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. Learning new words never gets old. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angeli. Sports fans, March is now over. And with it, the March Madness Basketball Festival ended with an exciting game on Monday night. Kansas Jayhawks beat North Carolina Tar Heels 72-69 to to gain their fourth National College Athletics Championship. There was no clear winner as Kansas lost their early lead over North Carolina and stayed behind for the majority of this amazing game. They had an amazing comeback in the nail-biting last three minutes of the game. Huge congratulations to the Kansas Jayhawks on navigating a wild tournament to walk away as champions. March Madness has come to an end, folks. This sure was a wild ride. Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey tacos, wild white nacho Doritos, fiesta beans, crunchy celery sticks, ranch dressing, sliced apples, taco sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go! Back to Angeli! Thank you, Sonia. That sure sounds delicious. Patriots, our school is offering a cheerleading team for our 2022 to 2023 school year. This is only for 4th to 7th graders. Make sure to turn in your application by tomorrow, April 8th. This looks like so much fun. Your books are now on sale. Get yours by tomorrow, April 8th, to pay just $30. After tomorrow, the price will rise to $35. Your books are only sold on myschoolbooks.com. Get yours now so you can relive all those awesome memories for years to come. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, FSA testing continues. Congratulations to 3rd and 7th grade for a successful testing day. 8th grade, it is your turn today. You got this, scholars. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Valencia. Thank you, Angelique. Hey Patriots, today we'll be experiencing warm temperatures with a high of 91 degrees Fahrenheit and showering skies. Let's be sure to look out for clear skies in the future. In other weather news, hail brings down a disaster in South Florida. Located in Orlando, hailstones the size of golf balls crash down on homes and everything around them. Hail forms when drops of water freeze together in the cold upper regions of thunderstorm clouds. Once they have fallen, they melt, evaporate, and the cycle starts again. Fortunately, nobody was hurt and everything is now okay. Let's see what you Patriots have to say with Bonnie, our Patriot on the go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the go. I'm your host, Bonnie. 
Now to your Patriots responses to our question, which is, if you got stranded on a planet, what's one item that you would bring? Now to those responses. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. If you got stranded on a planet, what's one thing that you would bring? Snacks and juice. But why? Because if I was left on a planet, I would be hungry. Aw, okay, I love that. That's such a good answer. Well, thank you. Now, I'll see you next, Patriot. Bye. Well, I have a question for you. If you got stranded on a planet, what's one item that you would bring? Uh, a helmet, because I like to keep my air. Yeah, you would like to breathe? That's really smart. Okay, well, thank you. If you got stranded on a planet, what's one thing that you would bring? I would probably bring some water. Oh, okay. But why is that? You need to stay hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. If you got stranded on a planet, what's one item you would bring? I would bring um food. Okay. And you would just bring it for survival reasons, right? Oh, smart. Okay. If you got stranded on a planet, what's one thing that you would bring? Uh, food. And why? Because I like to eat a lot. I eat every day. Oh, okay. I love that. It's very creative and very useful for survival tips. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. If you were stranded on a planet, what's one thing that you would bring? Uh, an inflatable spaceship. And why? Because then I could leave the planet. Interesting answer, I love that. Okay. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question. If you got stranded on a planet, what would be one item that you would bring? Well, that's it for Patreon on the Go. See you guys next time. Bye. That was great, Vani. Today's birthday boys and girls are Trinity Nerd, Kanan Pure Saint, and Manuel Fritas. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angelie. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now, Fiesta Day's trivia winners. Congrats to... Ms. Onley, Ms. Deed, Ms. Gonzalez, and Ms. Manning. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's review question, which was, what is the only U.S. state that grows coffee beans commercially? The correct answer is Hawaii. Puerto Rico and California are all experimental growers. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's review question. Which city in Germany gives its name to one of the U.S.'s favorite foods? Teachers. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.